Hi, this is Jim Myrick, and I like to support a lot of the small businesses and hear about different types of small businesses in our community. And I had invited Mary Alice Jardine to come in and talk to us about what I thought was a very neat opportunity. But before you get into the details of the opportunity, I always like to know what has, has changed in your life and how, how come it got, it got you from having a normal job, your 9 to 5 thing, mm -hmm. to owning basically your own business. So tell, can you share that with us? Oh my gosh, absolutely, <laughs> I'd love to. Um, my life has changed dramatically since I started working with Rodan and Fields Dermatologist. Um, not only has it changed financially, I've become um, financially independent, um, but it's also opened up my world. I've met so many people and um, my life has really changed in a way that um, also with, I've experienced a lot of personal growth uh, where I love talking to people and I don't talk to anybody now and believe it or not, I was extremely shy previously. So you didn't, like, you didn't engage too much prior to doing this and now you're engaging with a lot of people? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How long did it take you for know, you, for you so, to kind of get comfortable on that skin? Oh gosh, you know, probably, um, you know, six, eight months. Okay. It just it kind of grew, but then all of a sudden I reached like a momentum point uh -huh. where I'll just I'll talk to anybody now. What and what what was, changed? What what made what got you comfortable in doing that? Was just the time or the amount of times, or you felt comfortable and and talking about what you were talking about? I think it's a combination of mm -hmm. definitely the amount of times practice. You know, always leads to improvement, but uh, I got more comfortable with it, and I found it to be fun. Uh -huh. It became enjoyable. Rather than a scary thing, it really became enjoyable. So just a kind of a different perspective in growing your business. Yeah. You so, so tell us a little bit. So you started, you were, you were a teaching assistant, and then what you did is that uh, you, did you just jump into this, or what did you, how did you jump in, how did this migrate to your life? Well, actually, when I was introduced to the business, the way it's set up is you can work this business any amount of hours you like. You can work it for shoe money or you can work it for a big long-term career. So I did it actually alongside of my teaching career. Wow. Which was, it was great. Yeah. It was, it was, was that a lot of hours you were doing with that? Is that? You know, it kind of, it actually, you can fit it into the nooks and crannies of your life. Okay. It's really exciting about this business. Um, very good. So I, I put in uh, about six to eight hours a week is all I put in at the oh. very beginning. Okay. And uh, until at the end of the school year, I actually had equaled the amount that I was making as a teacher's aide. So six to eight hours a week, and then by the end of your the school, the school year, mm -hmm. you were making just as much money in this business as you were as, your, as a teaching assistant. Yes. Uh, wow. Just getting started. That's pretty cool. That's great. So then, then let's fast forward to today. How, how long has it been since you stopped being a teaching assistant now to, to today? How long has that been? Uh, it's been a little over a year. A little over a year. One year. And how's that, how's that going now? How's, how's in relationship to your, your income? I'm, I'm assuming it's grown. Oh, it's absolutely fabulous. It's growing. I've reached the point where um, I am supporting myself and my daughter, but I am not just supporting us, but I am able to keep her in private Catholic school. Wow. Which is dear yeah, to my heart. Yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. And um, I'm working towards purchasing a new house, hopefully next year sometime. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, there <laughs> so, you go. I'll call you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Yes, but, she'll see the number on the, on the screen. <laughs> okay. So very good. Well, we're looking forward to hearing a little bit more about the details of your business. But I just want to kind of hear your story on what, you know, a lot of people want to start a business, but they don't know, you know, what, what's in, in store for them. So that's great to hear some positive things about that. So why don't we look for our next part on the little details of what we're talking about and uh, see if that's might be interest, interesting to some of you out there. But uh, we're looking forward to hear about it. Okay? Thank you. Thanks very. so much.